Free documents, components, and tools for this lab are available at teachergeek.com. Take your black lead, place it into the port marked COM for common. Now grab your red lead, place it in the port marked V for voltage. Just turn the dial to read between 0 and 20 volts and you're ready to measure voltage. To measure amperage, simply take the red lead and put it into the top port marked 10 ADC. Set your multimeter to read 10 amps. Now you're ready to measure amperage. Testing voltage under a load is the most accurate way to get a reading. You can use a DC motor, a resistor, a light bulb, or even a pencil that sharpen on both sides as a load. When using a light, wrap the wires around the leads of the multimeter, and then clip your alligator clips onto the wire. You may not create enough power to actually light the light bulb, but it still acts as a great load. If you're using a DC motor, clamp the multimeter leads to the top of the alligator clip, and the DC motor towards the bottom. You may not have enough power to turn on the motor. When using a resistor, wrap the wires around the multimeter leads. Clamp the alligator clips onto the resistor wire. Now that your load's in place, you can go and measure voltage. You do not need to use the load to measure voltage for this kit, but it is recommended. For this first test, we are going to measure the voltage output of the turbine at different distances from the fan. I'm going to go ahead and place my turbine at 20 inches from the fan. Once your turbine is set up, take your data and then record it down in your lab. Once you've plotted your data, go ahead and move the fan to the next distance. Collect the rest of the data for the remaining distances, and then plot that all on your graph. Using the data that you have collected, go ahead and answer the questions on your lab. For changing the angle of the blades, we recommend that you use our Teacher Geek Protractor. It can be found on our website at www.teachergeek.com under Documents. Once you have cut out the protractor, place the skewer into the middle, and then you can twist your blade to the right angle. Let's find out if changing the angle of the blades changes how much voltage we get. The first angle we're going to check is 0 degrees. See what happens and plot your data on the graph. Once you've plotted your data, change the angle of the blade to 15 degrees. See what you get on your multimeter and plot the data again. Continue to do this for 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90 degree angles. Now that you've completed your test, what angle gives you the most voltage output? Now that you've got all these extra materials, it's time for you to create your own experiment. Create a wind blade that tests the hypothesis. Your experiment should test a single variable, such as the diameter of blades, the number of blades, the shape of blades. An example of an experiment would be testing how the length of the blades affects the voltage output. Once you get your hypothesis, go ahead and test it using the scientific process. But make sure you write down all your steps and you detail your findings in a conclusion. And then once you're done, go ahead and present everything to the class.